The Woodlands Maiden is race eight. It's the first of the long distance races today. It's a two and a quarter mile job, and it's for three year olds and upwards. Uh, at the top we've got Dane Side Quarter for James Shea, Lux Zulian for Darren Thompson, Penny Fan, Monty David Robertson, Scorpio, Martin Little, Take Back Control, Graham Clitterbuck, Bell Ringer, Joshua Sutherland, Madeline Matt Cooper, Prize Princess for Nick Driver, and Boulders Brass for Paul Parsons. And nine of them men to face the starter in this one. They're all installed and ready to go. And away they go. And who's going to be the first one to get into the lead and make the running? Doesn't look like anybody's all that keen to take it up at the moment. There's a line of about five of them disputing it through the first furlong or so. Right over on the far side, Scorpio might just about be in the lead. Down on this near side, Madeline, he's also close. I've got a feeling that one was around last season. Um, Luxu Lian is now coming through to take it up. So it's Luxu Lian who's going to be the leader as they come up past the stand for the first time. A complete circuit of the Ascot track ahead of them. And Luxu Lian is the leader. Leading by about two to three lengths on Daneside Quarter in second and Madeline third then Scorpio is back in fourth with take back control after that and then Penny Fan Monty Boulders Brass Bell Ringer and finally Prize Princess is just a back marker but no more than a dozen lengths off the leader as they finally pass that one in post up the long straight and now head out on that complete circuit of the Ascot track that's ahead of them it's Luxu Lian who's clear by five to Madeline on the inside in the red jacket second One's being trapped by Take Back Control and right on the far side, the green jacketed Daneside Quarter. Scorpio is next in the two greys. David Robertson's Penny Fan Monty on the outside in the turquoise and mauve hoops. The grey or the other grey horse down the near side in the white jacket, bold as brass. Paul Parsons and then we've got Prize Princess and Bell Ringer towards the back. So surprising to see Josh is almost right out the back, even though you can't see it. But it's Luxulian as they race down the back part of the trap. The famous woody carts and trees with Madeline in second and then take back control in third with Daneside Quarter fourth. Then Scorpio and Boulders Brass, Penny Fan Monty, Gap of Four lengths then to Prize Princess and not quite sure where Bell Ringer is at the moment. So maybe a bit of a surprise on the cards in this one. Luxulian though, would be no surprise if that one won for Darren Thompson. Leading still by three lengths or so. To Madeline in second. And there's a line of three of them together. Oh, there's Bell Rear. Not too far behind. Really close enough with still the best part of a mile to race. And Luxu Lian is the leader by a couple of lengths. To Madeline in second. He's got a similar advantage over Boulders Brass, who's now a clear third. Then Scorpio on the inside of Take Back Control. Daneside Quarter has just dropped back a little bit. Then after that one, Penny Fan Monty is also dropping back. Now Bell Ringer starts to make a bit of a move around the outside and Prize Princess has been really going into the back spot. But it's six furlongs for the moment and Luxu Lian is still a good two to three lengths clear of Madeline in second, Scorpio and Boulders Brass are next and a gap of a couple of lengths back to take back control. Bell Ringer is now starting to move through the field and he's going to move up into fifth place shortly. Also starting to run from the back now, Prize Princess is coming through. There's four furlongs still to go and it's Luxu Lian who's got a clear lead, still been in the lead pretty much all the way, leading by three lengths to Scorpio now moves into second. Here comes Bell Ringer around the outside in third, then comes Madeline. Boulders Brass is after that one. Penny Fan Monty is trying to run on. Price Princess's run didn't really materialise. And it still looks really unclear by three lengths or so. Maybe even increasing that lead. Bell Ringer, though, is in hot pursuit in second. He's now getting into overdrive. Scorpio looks woefully one pace in third. They're inside the final two, and it's Luxu Zulian who's in the lead. From Bell Ringer, who's trying to close. Moving into third. Now he's Boulders Brass. Then Scorpio. Penny Fan Monty is running on, but nothing's getting anywhere near this Luxu Zulian at the moment. And well inside the final furlong now jockey has a little look around bell ring is not making that much ground he's getting into overdrive though looks julian probably needs a line to come but i think it'll come in time and looks julian holds on to take him bell ring a second penny fan monty went on to be third then boulders brass take back control scorpio and prize princess with downside quarter probably the last one to finish in the end but it's looks julian who takes it for Darren Thompson, not sure if I'm saying that name right, but I'll do for now. 
And it'll win for now as well. Looks at Leanne for Darren Thompson, the winner. Bell Ring for Joshua Sutherland, second. Penny for Monty David Robertson, third. Boulders Brass for Paul Parsons was fourth. And Take Back Control for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.